From smartwatches to self-driving cars, technology is growing at an incredible rate. Every day it becomes an increasingly integrated part of our lives. But one area remains where we haven't yet seen a consumer accessible and affordable tech solution. Our food supply. That's why we've created the world's first fully automated smart planter. Introducing Growbot. With Growbot, you can grow everything from herb arrangements to lettuces, kales, peppers, fruit trees, or even a combination of plants. And it's designed so that you can add any medium you'd like to the top to reach your desired aesthetic. First, you choose the type of plant that will be housed in Growbot, then fill the water and nutrient reservoirs. That's it. Growbot works through an intricate system of pH sensors, nutrient level indicators, and a pump for dispensing organics into your water. The app keeps detailed data for your plant's feeding schedule and even allows you to override and feed your plant yourself, if you'd like. Growbot has the capability to fully regulate and care for your plants, minimal work from your end required. The maintenance of Growbot is easy. The planter's LED display panel on the pot will notify you of its current pH and nutrient level. And when water needs to be changed, the planter will notify you via one of two methods. Either the planter will emit a non-intrusive beeping, or you can opt to be notified through the application on your smartphone. Tell your friends about this innovative, affordable technology so that they too can grow more and grow better with Growbot. With Growbot, you're always good to grow. About six months ago, we decided to make the M3D Pro based on getting feedback from our existing users. So we've already gone through three iterations of design prototypes and we're almost completely done the engineering. Three months ago, we proved a lot of the important concepts like making a heated bed that uses less power, proving that it can move a lot faster, proving the benefits of higher quality and, and higher precision metal parts. And right now we're going through the final phases of proving the feedback system and finishing the next steps in programming. Our goal with the M3D Pro is to make the most reliable 3D printer in history. And the way we're gonna do it is by combining a full suite of sensors, what we call a sensor network, with precision metal parts. 
The combination allows the printer to become more self-aware and it can correct for errors that are common in all 3D printers, uh, cheap ones and expensive ones, things such as filament snags, print head crashes, uh, even power outages. First time I ever heard about 3D printing was one of my friends printed a Ninja Warrior training hold and I thought it was really cool. The unique thing that you're getting with M3D Pro that we have not yet seen in this industry is that ability for the printer to sense many different things within itself. It has the ability to sense position, it has the ability to sense speed, it has the ability to sense temperature in five different places. And if there's a problem, it can be self-diagnosed and in almost all cases can be self-corrected. Ultimately, that gives you more time in the creative process. With 3D printing, I have right on my desk, or my granddaughters have right on their desk, if they get an idea, they can try to make that idea on a 3D printer right there. They can turn their ideas into reality. This I didn't have when I was a kid. Really, the greatest advancement that 3D printing could accomplish at any point in the future is ease of use, making it so that anybody can just go from an idea to creating that idea uh, within an afternoon. We've introduced this new thing that we call tutorial mode. Um, so what we got from our feedback from original backers was that they wanted more detailed guides so they can grow into becoming an expert user rather than having to start as an expert user. The thing I think that needs to happen for educators is speed is an issue, how fast we can turn around. So with M3D Pro, you have the ability to print a single prototype with extreme accuracy and high quality, but you also have the ability to take that prototype and print it in quantity, cover the entire print bed with uh, multiples of your model and, and produce it at volume. I am so excited for the future, not only for me, but for my daughter, to grow up being able to use her mind to create anything she wants to, thanks to a 3D printer. I've been fascinated with just the whole idea of 3D printing for quite a while now, focusing on uh, just simple things that I could print for around the house or uh, you know, toys that I could print to, to play with my kids, really just the idea uh, that I could create something myself. So the M3D Pro is already successfully funded and is the largest crowdfunded 3D printer this year. Due to popular demand, we're opening up pre-orders using the Indiegogo in-demand platform. And what M3D is doing, um, I think many people are going to see as extremely innovative and they're going to want to be first to support it and to help nurture where this technology is going to go. They just also happen to get a printer as one of their rewards very early and at a deep discount. Stress is a monster with a thousand faces. Ow. And this is what calmness looks like. This is Muse, the brain sensing headband, the calm in the eye of the storm. Muse helps you learn to manage stress, stay calm, remain focused, and accomplish more. Pair Muse with your smartphone or tablet, put on the headband. Adjust it for a proper fit and launch the Muse app. Close your eyes and let Muse guide you through easy brain training sessions. Every time you regain focus and settle the winds, you're building your brain's ability to calm itself. The more you use Muse, the better you'll get at calming the winds. The sensors in Muse monitor your brain activity the same way a heart rate monitor measures your pulse. Real-time audio and visual feedback gives you insight into how your brain is working moment to moment and tracks your long-term progress. The result? Good riddance, stress. So cope with this by using this. Muse, the brain sensing headband. Do more with your mind and more with your life. Hey, can you navigate me to home? Sure, it will take us 40 minutes. 
have a message from Mom. Are you gonna make it to dinner tonight? Can you text her back and tell her I'll be there at seven? Dan, you're swerving. Oh, sorry. Dan, watch out! That was close. You remember that time when we had cars without seatbelts? Yeah, that was stupid. Or how about just yesterday when you were texting while swerving all over the road? That was pretty stupid too, wasn't it? Today, we're no different. Even though we have the technology to make our cars safer and smarter, we still drive very primitive cars. Introducing Drive, the all-in-one driving companion that will transform your driving experience. Drive is so much more than a dash cam. For starters, it makes your ride completely hands-free. From navigation to texting, there's no longer a reason to take your eyes off the road. Installing Drive is simple. Just stick it on your windshield and plug it in. Worried about safety? Don't worry, Drive's got your back. With real-time forward collision and lane departure alerts, your chances of an accident are greatly reduced. Dryde's non-stop HD video recording can help prove when you're not at fault, as well as help the driving community report reckless drivers. Above all these amazing features, Dryde has created an open community, allowing developers to work together and make the vehicle apps of the future. Built on the Raspberry Pi, Dried is a familiar platform for any in-car app you can dream of. Have an idea? Now's your chance to make it a reality. Create an app to prevent babies being left in cars. Create an app to notify you of cool events happening around you. The options are endless. Now it's your turn to make Dried as intelligent as you are. It's time to get out of the stone age of driving. Dried's gonna get us there. But we need you to make it happen. So, what do you say? Are you gonna drive or are you gonna drive?